Hello, my family. I normally don't do videos like I'm about to do, but you know, I got to thinking about it. Uh, I went to the P.O. box today and I was completely blown away. Uh, one of the ladies said, don't go nowhere because we have a lot for you. And so when they brought out everything, I decided to go ahead and do a video today because I will get it like this, y'all. Though I don't want anybody to feel bad at any time, please. If you don't send nothing, that's fine. I'm just, it's there. It's like I said, many asked me for my P.O. box and I went and did one. But for those who do do something, I know you would like to be able to know what it's like to sit down beside me and open up a gift that you had sent me. So today we're going to do that. I do want to start out with one that my brother sometimes my brother does stuff for me that just touches me so much you all know that I go through a lapo pepper like crazy here I just there's something about it it's like a it's different from a red pepper flakes it's kind of the mixture of a smoky flavored type of paprika mixed with a red pepper flake or paprika and pepper flakes so if you don't have a lapo pepper, you can easily take uh, paprika, smoked or sweet, or even Spanish, and then mix it with some red pepper flakes, and you basically have a lapo pepper. Still different, though. So my brother, he sent me, and I showed you all that short video about the uh, new pepper that came to the homestead. Well, he found the seeds, and... I am super, super excited. We're trying, they take 10 to 14 days to sprout, so I'm really, really hoping these do, because if they do, I can dry my own peppers, the form itself, and get exactly what we've been buying online. So, and that's the only thing in it here. It's a Aleppo Turkish chili pepper salt, and then they have a little bit of oil in it me i would just be using the pepper itself so i am super excited over that one so that was an amazing gift for my little brother and on top of um san marzano's now you talk about a family member who gets me he really gets me and he is um, my born raised little brother and he totally gets what I do. And he actually supports me. And I'm proud of him for that. I mean, I'm grateful for a lot of things that he does for me. He's actually getting me into microgreens next. So once we can get all these plants out of the house and outside, I am going to venture again on top of... Uh, oh, yeah, I need to bring you all over to that little miniature tomato plant in the hydroponic system. I have not updated you, so we're going to do that right quick, too. But once I get all these plants, and I've already done hydroponics, I do want to try microgreens, because everything that I can incorporate Mediterranean-wise, that's what we're going to do. But let me take you over to the uh, one and only uh, hydroponic system working. The other one was taken down because we, it was all um, parsley and I had some cilantro and basil. The basil went outside. The parsley I finished off its last round, which was four cuttings, y'all, from that one. So that hydroponic system is down for now. I probably will bring it back up and do something with it. But for right now... The lettuce that was in here with the tomatoes, we went through all the lettuce. So now we have that tomato left, and it's just now starting to put on fruit. So i got to show this to you. The lighting is going to be uh, quite different, but look, y'all. Look how big this plant is, and it's just hanging out on the side of this hydroponic system. But I'm going to bring you closer. See that little tomato? This is a mini tomato plant that I got from seeds. I think this was called the Top Hat Tomato uh, from Baker Creek. And I never got to see what it looked like when I planted it outdoors. So I tried it in here and sure enough, we're getting little tomatoes. So we're going to go ahead and see what happens. I wished I pollinated this a little more, 
I may have to with the rest of these flowers and see what happens. Okay, y'all. So, I have some packages I want to open up with you um, for some of the family members. I also have another package. It's a, um, it's a promotional deal. I'm not really getting anything out of this. I am going to do a review out of it and let you know what I think. Um, there was various reasons why I chose yes to do this promotion because um, I have some cookware that needs special care. So I will get into that one later. But we have another little surprise going into our kitchen that I think is going to benefit this homestead quite well. So that's the only reason I chose to say yes to it. But in the meantime, so we got a couple little things right here. We've got a package on this one. And we have this package. That's a heavy one. And then we have this one right here. So I decided to sit with my family today and do something I had never done. And like I said, I'm not saying anything to any of y'all about, um, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. But I do also want those who do do this. It's amazing what you do. So I do want to sit with you and this is my way of doing that. I, I don't have a way, any other way, but right here. So, also, I have been praying about it. Many of you will be happy to hear this news. Um, once all of my dental work is finished, y'all, once the healing is enough where I can do okay again, I have been praying about it, and I am coming back to doing live videos with you. So, um look forward to that i know many of you enjoy our one-on-one -on -one homestead table talk you have missed it just as much as you miss your coffee time so i have considered coming back doing live feeds i will say i will be appointing one or two moderators um, if you are strong enough if you are willing to conquer this with us so that we can have table time together we already have our coffee time. We need our table time. And our table time is our live feeds where we can sit down with one another for at least an hour. So if you are ready for the challenge, let me know. Put it in the description um, with your name saying I will, I will monitor or wave your hand or something. And I will write your name down and we will look forward to it. Again though, this is going to be after the first week of April. I've got one more round of my dental work to do, y'all, and then I, that's when I will feel more comfortable to do my live feeds is once all of this is finished. So we're going to be doing that again. Like I said, I prayed about it, and I know you all miss it, and I kind of miss you too. I miss that special time. So anyways, this package was really adorable because there's a little honeybee tape on the back end of this. I really don't want to tear this. I want to find a way to preserve the honeybees. That is really cute. Y'all, you just really seem to know me. So, this is adorable. And this is from Miss Sandra. Thank you, Miss Sandra. I'm not going to give the last names. You know who you are. So... And this is Miss Sander from Canada. So I'm actually going to save this somehow. Uh, right now I'm going to put it on my little coffee cup from coffee time. I don't know. I just think it's cute. I'll find a way to fix this. All right, Miss Sandra, let's see what you've done, sweetheart. This is actually really sticky stuff. Making sure I don't cut nothing. All right. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sweet. Y'all, so Miss Sandra sent me a bunch of little tea. I, she knows I love my tea. I really do. Thank you, Miss Sandra. We have some honey bush mandarin and orange tea. We have some lemon balm tea, some herbal tea, summer fruits, chamomile, aw, 
Oh, cinnamon apple chamomile and some peach, ginger peach uh, tea. <gasps> Y'all, I'm going to be having me some tea tonight. And she sent me this cute little card. Aw. Some more of my bee tape. Sandra, I'm sorry, honey. I'm saving this. This is adorable. I got to find a way to save this. These are so cute. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I am saving that because it is absolutely adorable. I am so blessed. So very blessed to have a family like y'all. You know... People could take advantage of this, but I don't. I am humbly blessed. God is good to me, and y'all are amazing. Y'all are absolutely amazing. You bring me to tears, happy tears, all the time. Okay, so, to explain this little card, it's so adorable. She knows I love the sunshine. So, it's a cute little puppy right here who's lassoing the sun. Capturing it the sun and then sending it to me. That's amazing. That's absolutely adorable And I could use that right now because we had a good rain Ah, Sending a little sunshine my way see I knew that's what it was Miss Sandra Thank you darling from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. See, that's why I say I'm, I'm humbly blessed, y'all. So, I will be starting this evening having some tea with you tonight, Miss Sandra. Bless you, darling, very, very much. Like I said, y'all, I know I normally don't do this, but this is why I am. I just feel like I'm sitting with you, and it's it's absolutely amazing. The, the thoughts, the things that you do is beyond anything I have ever seen in my life. So, this one here is from, oh. Who is this one from? I have no idea. This one, let's see if we got something inside. It just says, enjoy these great recipes, a subscriber. Y'all, you're more than just that. You are family. I hope you know that. Now, this is why I'm also doing this, so you know that you are family. I don't know who you are. I don't know if there's going to be any information in here about you. But you're going to know who you are when I open this. This is full, y'all. I mean, seriously full. <gasps> oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so to explain. Oh my goodness. This package is from the Fred Beckers Incorporated. And in this package right here is the mix for Ezekiel bread. The biblical bread used in the Bible. This is the Ezekiel mix that I can make the bread with. It has everything that that bread had ever consisted of from organic red wheat, spelt, barley, lentils, northern, uh, great northern beans, kidneys, pinto beans, and it makes three, three pounds of dough. This is enough to make a couple loaves of bread. Thank you. I do not know who you are, but I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And on top of it, Oh my goodness, y'all. 
Oh my goodness. I was sent the Bread Becker's entire, oh my word, the recipe collection book. And in the recipe collection book came two CDs, which I can use on my husband's laptop. And then uh, I have the card to Bread Becker's and all the greens I'm thinking that they have with this. And then the conversion charts. This is amazing. This is everything that the bread beckers have. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever you are who done this. Thank you so, so much. I am. I'm tickled pink over this one. Y'all. You just really, really get me. This is so cool, so amazing. I have always heard about the Ezekiel bread, but I've never tried it. Now I can actually try this. So this was so cool. You rename you remain anonymous, and you know what? I respect that. And you know, it, it's like this. Even if I do call your name, if I do find out who sent these, God bless you. And I mean that dearly, God bless you. This one, this is from Miss Nancy from Minnesota. Miss Nancy, I am about to open yours up, honey, but you really, really take this. We're going to try and open this safely. Yeah, this was taped really well. Oh my goodness. Hang on, y'all. We're going to get something else to open this with. Okay, I got it open now. To go back on the Bread Beckers, just to let y'all know basically what Bread Beckers was and why I got it so excited about it. Since we started milling our own grain and making breads and all of our treats or everything, basically that we don't buy the flour from the store anymore. We mill our own flour Bread Beckers is the one that I turned to in the beginning to learn all about milling bread. And I do not regret that one bit. Matter of fact, for the first time on a Mediterranean diet, I'm actually losing weight ounces at a time. You know, but it, it's slowly, but it's healthy. I feel so much better, and so does my husband. The one thing we decided we are not doing is going back to store-bought flour. Bread Beckers is where it all began for me. It's where I started learning everything. So I am super excited to be able to get this product from Bread Beckers, even the cookbook, because I need to learn. It's a whole new learning curve. The difference between fresh milled flour and store bought is totally different because you've got one product where everything was completely stripped out of it. And I've known that flour for so many years, and that's a store-bought. I know the liquid content and all that. But when it comes to working with fresh milled, everything is in there. So this is totally new to me. This helps. Knowing that somebody who knows how to mill, it's going to change my life forever. And I'm learning how to do that because this fresh milled absorbs way more liquid and it makes sense because you've got the bran and the germ, which was removed from store-bought. So it makes sense to learn all about this. So that's why I got excited, y'all. That is the missing cookbook that I needed. And I, I've been working with the people that I'm learning from who started Fresh Milling on YouTube. And they have helped me immensely. So that's why I got super excited about the Bread Becker's book because she has started a major, major thing for all of us and it's amazing. So Miss Nancy, let's see what it's squishy. Oh my goodness. Miss Nancy, did you do this by hand? 
Darling, these are absolutely adorable tea towels. These are specially embroidered coffee time. Oh my goodness, these are gardening coffee time. Oh. And there's a card inside of it, y'all. Aww. She did. Give me a minute. Okay, y'all. I had... I had a moment, okay? When somebody who sends me this little card and tells me how much they love this channel, how much they adore me, how much that what I am sharing with y'all has helped them. And then they send me this gift, literally touched my heart because this isn't just an ordinary gift, y'all. This is somebody who spent quality and I know art. I know art. I know talent. And this is talent. These are tea towels which will be used on the homestead for baking our breads. Amazing how all of this fits together. Making our breads and stuff. But these are handcrafted. Hand embroidered tea towels. Every single tea towel is hand embroidered by Miss Nancy. When she takes her sweet time, y'all, these are absolutely adorable. When she can take her time to do this and then send it to me. If you don't feel touched, if anybody were to receive a gift like this and don't feel touched, I don't know what to say because this is amazing. Not just anybody would do something like this for somebody. You really have to be loved. And I am so absolutely loved by all of you. Every single one of you. I read your replies. You touch my heart. And yes, maybe I do have tears. But you know what? It's like this. The good Lord made me who I am today so that I can feel. Because at one time, you can, tell, you, you can ask my husband. I didn't have a heart, y'all. I was rather a cold, bitter person. And God softened my heart. And so when I read your replies on some of my videos, when this comes to me, I tend to get emotional because I'm very touched by your testimonies. I'm very touched by your talents. I'm very touched that you would even consider doing anything like this for me. And so I want to thank you all. Y'all, this is... I am replacing all my tea towels in my kitchen. All of them will be replaced. Miss Nancy, thank you, because I am absolutely going to enjoy baking bread, looking at these cute, beautiful designs that you had made. I can't wait. This is, y'all are making kitchen time for me so great anymore. I get to have all of you as a part of me in this homestead. You really have no idea how much you fulfill my life as much as you say I do yours. So I just want to take that time to say thank you. Now, we are having a barbecue this evening. Honey is going to be, which we don't eat very much of, but that's pork. And so he's going to be doing some barbecued pork ribs. I am going to be coming up with some ideas for Mediterranean side dishes and we're going to go to the kitchen together. So that's uh, the other half of this video. I'm doing my thanks to all of you who sent me these amazing, beautiful gifts. And the fact that the replies here lately, you all, my, from my last video where I said, love you. And I, and I mean that, love you. But... On that video, I had sat and I read all your replies. And there were many of you 
that I sat in tears and you know you touched me because I know how you feel I'm reaching out to you I'm just as real as you are so I enjoy I'm not going anywhere y'all this channel is not going anywhere you can guarantee that if anything we're gonna expand like I said after I get this with my mouth fixed I will be going back to live videos with you probably every Saturday evening that's the best time for me maybe even Sunday evening but I'm thinking Saturdays is going to be better so we will be having our live feeds back and so with that let me go ahead and start putting all this away in their places where they need to be and we're going to go to the kitchen and we're going to start making some side dishes for supper tonight, Mediterranean style. I love you all. I do. I love each and every one of you. You are an amazing family to have. And I am blessed beyond measure to have each and every one of you with us. And the more that come in, I'm just going to simply tell you, I did a video on that video, the Love You video. I sent you all a hug. And many of you... You really, really brought me to tears, too, when you said you actually did that. You actually gave yourself the hug that I gave you. And so you felt me. You felt my hug. Now, I'm going to also do this for everybody who comes new to this channel. These arms are wide. And we have a huge family, but we can always have room for more. So as wide as these are, I can't hold everybody at once but God can open up these arms as wide as they go and I can gather all of you and then bring you in and hug you welcome to the family welcome to Parton's Heritage Homestead and I look forward to you as we've got a really good season coming up I feel it in my gut and in my heart y'all we got a good season coming up so let's go to the kitchen now Okay, my beautiful family, so we are now in the kitchen. Now, we are going to be working with a particular item. Honestly, me and my husband have never tried. Although, we're going to try it for the first time. I have a really sweet friend who had found me here on this channel. And she's actually a very close neighbor of ours here in our state. Um, within the Golden Triangle, actually. And we have met one-on-one -on -one in person. Beautiful lady. She had shared some seeds with us. And you have to forgive hubby. He's um, he's snacking right now, y'all. On some deer meat, actually. So she had shared some seeds with us. And this beautiful squash called Kusha squash. Now, I have never had Kusha squash. Gosh, bleh, say that 3,000 times right but anyways um we are gonna try this now basically that's one huge squash for two people now I do know what I'm gonna do with part of this and the next part is we're gonna roast it but if we were to freeze it and then roast it it's not gonna work like many other squashes it will hold water content so the best thing for me to do at that point is if I'm going to freeze it, I can slice it, but know that, that when I defrost it, it's best going to be probably used for mashing it up. Now we can use it as a Kushaw mash and make like a sweet potato pie out of it and stuff like that, which probably what we'll do because there is absolutely no way the two of us are going to eat this much squash. Now I will probably, depending on how much we like this, I will take some of this and reserve it in the refrigerator for the week and uh, cut it up and then that way have it roasted then. So that's going to be the first thing. This is one of our sides to go with our pork ribs. This is something new and it's Mediterranean style so we're going to try and see what it does. So I'm going to take you right now into our kitchen and we're going to start first off baking our side dish of Kusha squash. We're going to roast it, and let's go at it. Okay, y'all. Now, like many squashes that are like this, this is considered a winter squash. So, this is not going to be an easy one to cut. I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff out of our way. 
I'm going to go ahead and actually cut this neck part of it off. And it is pretty tough. Yeah, it's really tough, y'all. Okay. Yep, it's really tough. So let me get this off of here and then we'll be right back. I got to give you all a laugh to show you how this homesteader conquers everything. So this little knife here just does not cut it for this squash. I'm just going to tell you. It was beating me. But this bad boy. This is my buddy when I can't cut anything else. I love this thing. So, we're going to cut this into pieces. Just like so. That's how I conquer. And this knife is sharp, so it kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> but we're going to take this, cut it down, and now I can actually sit here and peel this right now they say once you get it broke down it's easy to peel so we're going to test that theory you know me i can't just believe everything i hear so i make sure that i test it out with you so as soon as i find my peeler we'll come back and see if this actually is oh, here we go we got it we'll see if this is actually is easy to peel or not yeah actually it is okay so we're going to actually just peel i actually could probably do this with a knife we'll see yeah i know we're supposed to do things away from us but it's harder to do that this way all right it has a it has a smell of a melon Y'all, this is definitely a weird type of squash for me. I, I've never had it. And those of you who have, put in the description box below and some of the ideas that you have made with it. But it has a sweet kind of smell like melon. That was unusual. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish... Um, grating or not grating but peeling the rest of this squash once i get that done we'll be right back okay y'all so i do save the peelings and i want to let y'all know um i keep a bin like this it's just like this little two-handled bin i keep this in my kitchen and i save all of my scraps because we are learning to do more of composting than we've ever done before and to let you all know, starting tomorrow, um, if all goes right, we have an order coming in. And I am, for once, really happy about this. We have been trying to make a compost. Hang on a second. That's better. We have been trying to make a compost out here on the homestead. Now, we did a makeshift type and... Although it has worked, it's not been one of our best. So I went and found, it's not super cheap, but affordable 80-gallon composter. I am actually really happy that that's coming tomorrow. It's just a plastic bin. It's not a turn one or nothing. We just throw our compost in it. Eventually, we got to take the fork and stir it up. I do not mind doing that. It's the same thing I've been doing outside, but this is supposed to be a lot better, y'all. So, that is the reason why you will find, occasionally, I will have this in my kitchen. It's because I am literally collecting scraps to put in the composter, which we will be having very soon. So, I thought I'd let you know that we are getting into composting on this homestead just as much. Okay, back to our squash. Now, yes, this is a lot for one person. So I'm actually going to probably use two pieces of this for supper tonight. And these two, I'm actually going to chop up and bag it. And 
and I will probably use this within the week of making up more. So I'm going to take these two and put them aside for right now. And we're going to chop these and bag these up. So. Definitely got to put some muscle work into this. I've had other squash like this though too, so. And then we'll just break them up like that. And then we're going to put them in our freezer bag. I forget the name of this knife, but this thing is really cool. This is what I use for my tough jobs. With this knife, it's kind of strange. Uh, I feel like a Viking woman. I mean, we're I'm part Norwegian, but this thing is pretty powerful. I, it gives a woman the strength of power saying, Hi, hey, you can't defeat me. I know that sounds weird, but this thing is tough otherwise. Some of these vegetables, you can't just use any ordinary knife on them. And this is giving us quite a bit. This is a gift that gives you a lot. So, and I have the bottom part. This is just the neck. I still have the bottom part, so I'll probably um, freeze the bottom part to use towards like casseroles or dessert type of thing. Yeah, these have been used also to make dessert with, like sweet potato pie. So we may try that with sugar substitute. All right, almost finished. That's just the stuff that we're gonna put away. I'll show you how much this has given us too. Butternut squash is another one that was kind of tough, but this one I think is tougher. And it gives us quite a bit in here, so we still have a lot. I may share with some folks too, actually. Alright, so now for our dinner. And this still is going to be, I don't know, I may end up sharing with my neighbor, y'all. I think I'm going to put some more of this up because this is not going to be, it'll be too much for two people still yet. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut this. Keep my fingers out of the way of this thing. Right here, and then the rest of this we're going to put up. I think this will be enough sides for me and hubby here. We still got to check this on his blood sugar because not all squashes he can eat either. Weird, but truth. So let's see how much this gives, and if I have to, I can always add some more to it. So this is for dinner tonight. Right now, I have my oven preheating at 400 degrees. Okay. That's going in our bowl. We're almost finished with this part. Okie doke. Yeah. I think that'll be enough for two people right now. What do you think? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle this with some olive oil on the top. 
more. And then we're going to sprinkle this with some salt. And I'm using Himalayan sea salt. And then we're going to take this and mix it up really well. All right, y'all. So I have something I want to also introduce you to. This has been um, a product that actually came to me. And I think this is going to work out really, really well in our kitchen so let me go ahead and bring this out because I am going to be using that quite a few times in this kitchen today okay y'all so this is a 14 piece gadget that goes into my kitchen now one thing I like about it it's a uh, cooking utensils it's made by a company called simply and I will tell you one reason I chose to do this on my video and promote this company Number one is with the material and as much as you get, 14 pieces, um, I think I saw it for about $40. Now, would I pay that much? Absolutely, and I'm going to show you why. Number one, I chose this, and I'm going to show it to you here shortly, but I chose these because I have cooking um, appliances, you call them, or utensils, whatever, uh, cooking material that are have a finish that you cannot use metal on and personally i don't always like to use metal like in my um the cast iron the ceramic cast iron products i have that you've seen many of you liked my small little quart ones i love those pans As a matter of fact i'll show you so on this cookware here i love this thing i'd actually love to get another one honestly but with this one, which is my enamel cast iron, then I have my little two people um, enamel cast iron, which um, that's, I think that's a two or three quart. And then I have my um, birthday gift that I got from my kids, which is the Pioneer Woman ones, but they have the coating on these that you don't want to use metal. It's nonstick. I love this. But for the most part, my utensils are stainless steel. I love stainless steel, but they don't always work really good in my cookware that I have today. So, and I do use my silicone spatulas. I love my silicone. They are very easy. They can withstand a lot of heat and you will not find plastic. So I decided to go ahead and review this product because of what I have. I absolutely need this. So. I'm going to set you up and show you exactly what comes in and what I have. Okay, y'all. So, this is a kitchen appliance set that I decided, or our utilities, utensils, that I decided to go ahead and do this. It's got a pair of tongs in it, a small spatula, oil brush, ladle, a spoonla, spoonala, slotted turner regular turner whisk spaghetti server big slotted spoon spatula slotted spoon and regular spoon and then it's got its storage bucket now that is basically everything i have here it's got this product it's got this one here the soup ladle uh yeah it's got the soup ladle it's got everything everything y'all that i have here with stainless steel but I told you I don't like using stainless steel on products that don't need to be. So, I decided to go ahead and try this. And it all comes together in one package. The packaging is quite nice, honestly. And this little thing will look really cute on top of my stove with my little oil can. So, we have our container pretty little symbol on it and then all the utensils they actually come all bunched together super easy just like so wow those are got nice nice wooden handles too Let me go ahead and show you some of this and they're not super huge or nothing easy to store everything in here i'm actually liking this y'all just like that now you can actually put this together 
pull these little tab up and they just stay locked in place and just stick that inside of here. I like this. Actually, I do. Just like that. So, I mean, here's your brush that we use for oils. Um, like our other squash when I brush my olive oil on it. And then it's not super huge. It's a nice little side spatula. These are nice. And they're not super flimsy. I mean, they've got structure. Even though they're silicone, they've got structure. Now, over time, we'll see how long they last. But for right now, this seems to be really nice. And we're fixing to use this one right here. So, I'm going to set this up on my stove because I think this is going to look really cute. Maybe not. I will set it beside my stove, though, right here, y'all. I like this easy accessible right there so as you can see we're going to work with I like accessibility everything right where it's at so that works out great I can reach what I need right there so now let's get back to cooking all right my family now we're gonna take yeah I like this is really nice to hold it's not super bulky it's nice rounded very very comfortable we're just going to take and coat. Oh, I like this. It's lightweight. Yeah, I'm going to try to find the link. We're going to get the link to this, and we are absolutely going to. I'm going to make this link in all the rest of my videos from now on for these utensils because this. This is pretty nice, and I think it would make a nice gift in somebody's kitchen. It's really cute, too. So, all right, so everything is now mixed together. What I'm going to do at this point is take my pan. I'm using parchment paper, and I'm going to spread this out. And we're going to bake this for about 20 minutes. We're going to come back and season this after a while. Actually, no, I'm going to wait to season it because I don't need any of my seasonings getting too dark. I don't like bitter. So I'm just going to drizzle this on top. Y'all, this cleans a bowl also very, very nicely. Now, I've had utensils that does not do this. This will clean a bowl really nice. Wow. Wow. I am impressed. Okay, so. Now we're going to set the timer for 20 minutes. We're going to pop this in the oven. And we're going to be right back after these are cooked down soft. And we shall be back. Okay, y'all, so this has been baking for 20 minutes. It still has a little bit more to go. So, in the meantime, while this is still in its process, we are going to season it the rest of the way. Right now, we just have olive oil and salt on here. So, I think I am going to choose, and you could choose any seasonings you feel like it. This squash, I, I tasted it. It's a neutral. My goodness, this is really good. It is really kind of hard to describe. You can make this like you would a butternut squash. You can make this into anything you want to. So I am actually going to season ours Mediterranean style. And I'm going to use some of my Mediterranean lemon garlic on here. And sprinkle that all over. I'm going to take this and mix it all up afterwards. We're going to sprinkle this all over. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of a kick to this with some Alapo pepper on top of it. Which actually, I'm going to save the Alapo pepper. I am going to put some garlic on here though. We're going to put some garlic powder on the top. Now, mind you, this is my homemade garlic powder as well. Okay. Now we're just going to take mix all these ingredients up together it's getting a beautiful nice golden brown at the bottom of it and we're going to turn each piece over okay y'all 
these are kind of warm so I'm just gonna take just like so all right now we're going to put this back in the oven for about five ten minutes and we're going to check it from here we don't want it to get too crispy or anything like that so i'm just going to now after the initial 20 minutes we're going to come back and just do a little at a time check it out till it's nice and tender and our side dish will absolutely be done and that's one out of i don't know we might do some sauteed green beans to go with this as well that sounds good so I'm going to go ahead and get this back in the oven, and we will be right back. Y'all, I had to show you these ribs. Hubby just turned around and got these. They've been on a 10-minute rest time, so these just came off the barbecue. He smoked them, so we're going to try this out right quick. It looks amazing. Look at that ring, y'all. Whew. Whew. <laughs> this looks so good. Mmm, tender. Oh, yeah. This is good, y'all. And then I wanted to show you, at the same time that we got this, our Kusha squash turned out absolutely beautiful. See that? That's part of our side dish. Y'all, this squash has an amazing type of flavor it's really hard to describe but when it is seasoned it takes on a seasoning so quickly um i actually never knew that this squash could taste so good so i definitely am considering about growing some of this now i'm going to go ahead and show you our next side which is a sauteed green bean and we are fixing to eat y'all Okay, my family, so now we're going to do our second side, and this will complete our supper tonight. So I'm going to use a good tablespoon or two of olive oil. I'm going to bring this up to a nice dancing shimmer. And then we're going to saute some green beans and onions, and I'm going to show you a very simple, quick side dish. Tastes amazing, just as simple as it is. So let's go ahead and bring this up to our shimmering point. We will be right back. Okay, so we are going to prep while we're waiting on our oil. And I'm using olive oil, actually. So I'm going to slice up some thin, about a quarter inch thick onions. You don't want it super thick. Go ahead and add some more here. That'll be good enough. That in half. Put that aside. And now we're going to go in with our garlic. I'm going to do one good clove. You can do, well, how about two? It ain't going to matter. You can use as much garlic as you want to, honestly, on this one. So I'm going to come in here and prep my garlic up. You can add sliced, actually that's going to be big, that's a pretty good size, so, and I'm going to actually mince this. I'm going to come in there and slice it actually, and then use it that way. I had already washed our green beans, so we're using fresh organic green beans. At least that's what the package says from the store, but that don't mean that it is. So I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna make a couple slits right there on my garlic. I don't know if you can see this. And we're just going to come in here and slice this really thin. And then come back on that. Just chop this up. Just like so. Just a nice rough chop on some thin slices, and that's it. Super simple. All right, so 
Our oil seems to be good enough right now, so we're going to come in here and add our onions. Just going to do a nice, and add our onion, our garlic. We do not want these burned, so keep this on a low, medium low heat. We're just sauteing is what we're doing. And I am going to use these simple, simply util, uh, utensils on this. Again, this is where y'all are going to find that I am going to be using these a lot in all of my videos. The reason for it is I do have pans that would require me to actually use something very much like this. These are heat resistant up to 446 degrees, so they won't melt. They're pretty sturdy. I mean... I have had silicone stuff before and y'all they didn't even have the strength or when you press down that they bend and these don't do that. I can literally cook with this with ease. They're comfortable in my hand. So you will see these a lot on the homestead from now on. Like I said, as soon as I can get a good link, I will put that in the description box below so you guys will absolutely have this. Now. We have our onions and our garlic nice and sautéed. So now we're going to come in with the green beans. And I am just going to literally throw these in here just like they are. Make sure to get the little stems off. And we're going to come in here and mix that up. Oh, the tears from the onions. Lord have mercy. Now I am actually going to douse this a little bit more with some olive oil. Because olive oil does not hurt the body. It does the body good. Okay. Shoo, lower the these are some good onions, y'all. Woo. Now I'm gonna come in here and sprinkle some Himalayan sea salt on top of this. Just like so. Mix it up a little more. Now these will not be mushy. These will have a crunch because all we are doing, we don't want to lose any of the nutrients and vitamin in them. We're just actually heating them up. Now I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I'm going to cover it and just allow them to steam within their pan. Just till they get that nice cooked green color. And that's it. So once these are done, we will come back and we will show you our final meal. Okay, y'all, we are ringing the dinner bell. It is time to serve our meal. So we've got our sauteed green beans with onions and garlic. We have our beautiful, excuse me, babe, Kusha roasted squash. Oh, y'all, this is so good. I'm about to serve y'all a plate, too. And our ribs. Now, I'll give you a closer look at our supper tonight. And though... Pork may not be always on the Mediterranean. It is a meat source for tonight, but we do have the vegetables on the side, and I'm going to show you how we do this instead of your standard barbecue with mashed, or mashed potatoes or potato salad, pasta salad, and all that. We did this more on a Mediterranean style, and I'm about to show you. And there it is, y'all. Look at the pretty colors to this. Bright just amazing and it makes you honestly it's making my mouth water i cannot wait to dig into this so i hope you enjoyed this video that uh and this kitchen time with us on the homestead and learning how to dig different sides and i will switch you back around right quick all right y'all i am i'm hungry we're about to eat 
and I really do hope you enjoyed this time in the kitchen with us. I hope you enjoyed the fact that we got to actually sit down together. And y'all, I really enjoyed all the gifts that were sent. Thank you so, so much. You really help encourage me in so many ways to keep going. And I'm sure hubby who's seeing you says hello. And we hope y'all, um, if you like this, continue to keep hitting that like button. Get us out there, y'all subscribe make sure when you do don't just hit that subscribe button hit that little bell that bell is actually very important it may show that you get notified but unless you hit it you won't so please hit that bell and until next time we are down for the rest of the weekend and i will see you back in the beginning of next week love each and every one of you from parton's heritage homestead